Well folks, we're back out again, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to head out for a, a wee quick overnighter, a wee nice sunset camp, or oh, as you can see the sun, it's going to last, it's going to be a good thing, a wee sunset at night, so stay tuned. Right, that's us set up. Just get the foil mat, uh, my down sleeping bag, my Tricology uh, pillow, inflatable pad, a wee husky tent, and then that's the view for tonight. Don't know how well this picks, this camera picks that up, but that's a nice view. Right, it's the tent that's set up. Uh, next stop, uh, what I've got with me, I've not got the hot tent with me tonight, but I do have the Pomelie titanium stove. So, that's a great, nice, light, great, very, 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 very lightweight stove. Portable. Uh, that's even the flue, the titanium flue goes down to that. Right, but I'm not going to use the flue tonight because I've not got a hot tent. I'm more or less just using it so that I can I can sit. So it basically comes in sorry, comes in two bits. That's the top. That's the main body of the stove. You've probably seen me use this before. Right, but I just just fold it out. Right. Just get the different sides to it. You can get three different types of these. Uh, I think there's a T1, there's the Vision, and I'm trying to remember the name of the other one. But it, it really is so easy. And you're just basically putting each corner in. And that basically kind of seals it all shut. Right, so that's it. I mean, that's it. Well, it's not going anywhere. Right, obviously, you can see where you've been used. It starts to get that kind of purpley kind of tinge to it. Just I think the heat, the tight air, you know, it kind of starts to kind of, it goes that fancy kind of. Right, then obviously you've got the front entrance, right? But the good thing, like I say, about this is it's got that, it's got the glass front. So, obviously, you just sit. I can't do a lot of time, I just sit with the door open at the front if I'm just sitting like this. But obviously, if you're in the hot tent, you don't want the, the tent filling with smoke. But with this one, it's a case of because it's got the glass window. You've got the other one with the glass window at the front, but it's a case you sit in the tent, you can still see the flames, etc. So, what we'll do is, we'll get this lit up, eh, get a wee bit of heat. Right. There we go, cooking with gas. Well, cooking my wood stove. But, as ever, cracking view, looking down over at Aaron. 
that kind of nice colour in the sky now. So I'm just going to sit back and chillax. I think I might even have a wee brew. Why not, eh? It'd be rude not to. Right, the light's kind of fading a wee bit. Oh, it's just brilliant. So I've been pretty busy. Uh, last couple of nights, I was away a couple of big, well, we one group camp away for two nights, which was great. So hopefully you, you watched those videos. Uh, obviously, I'm, I'm sober as a judge tonight, but there was a, I think because there was a few of us there, there was a few bottles of wine, whiskey, beer, you name it. Uh, I, think we, I think we polished off a full bottle of Jura, which was very nice indeed. Ah, wishes were here. Well, it's pretty black now. So, it's time for a brew. So, I'll probably, well, I would have normally been in the house tonight, but seeing I've got one day off, it was a nice night. I just thought. Why no? Let's get up the hills. So these are just my local hills, I'm not too far. Well, I'm saying that, there's a, a few miles up here, but it's not far, it's not that far at all. Anyway, it's time for some chocolate digestion. So no fancy cooking tonight. I'm all cooked out. See after the uh, the last two nights, oh, tremendous. I don't know, what did I have on the, on the Friday night? I had a, well, the two sirloin steaks, four burgers, peppers, onions. It was good, but the second night it was a curry. I never made it. It was uh, Johnny X4 Scotland, he made it. So I'm just going to dunk my uh, chocolate digestive here. So we made a curry. Mm. Spot on. It wasn't in that jar. Made for scratch. Oh, tell you, the word smell of vision. If you watched the last video, you've probably seen it bubbling away. But oh, it was superb. Check my dress. Fantastic. But it was a good wee night. Uh, me, Johnny Explorer Scotland, Eddie, Scots World Camper, Kevin, Raven about Scotland, uh, Donna, the Lady in the Orange Van, uh, Mark, Prophecy Prepper, have I forgotten any of day? No, I think that was at five. I love us. But it was, it was a, it was just what we came. It was fantastic. And the location that we had. Oh, just, I realise it's a, I realise a, a cracker of a location. But, as ever, and with, with most folk now, nobody tells the locations. Because there's too many places getting, getting trashed, basically. So it was a busy weekend. So I like a group camp, but I do like a wee solo camp as well. Even though some folk go, oh, you're not scared up there yourself. You're not scared of the mad axe murderers. No, I can't say I am. Right. The most chance of getting attacked in a, a, a town on a Saturday night than you have out in the middle of nowhere. Oh, 
got to have a brood, don't you? Well, it was a good weekend. Yeah, uh, good weekend we had. Whereas tonight, like I say, I'm just so... So I'm just up my local hills. Just get the Husky tonight. Husky Flame 2, I'm in tonight. Great wee mountain tent. I've had this up. Lost Valley and places like that. Stood up great. I think it's that well I know and make. I don't know if it's kind of Eastern European or something, but it must match a great wee tent. I've had absolutely no bother with it, and I've had it out in all weathers. Whereas I do like that, you know, those big formerly TP tents, oh, they're just the best. That's how I can't wait uh, see for winter to come in. I cannot wait. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm just so hoping that we get some snow. Because I can't tell why. That's my favourite kind of camping. Snow camping. To me, that's the pinnacle. But there's, I think, for all this COVID stuff this year, it's just been, everywhere's been overrun with people. Because, what is it, the staycation. But, it's a leave no trace. It's, it's, folks need to start following that, don't they? Because I realise there's nothing worse. Nothing worse. You turn up, there's an old burnt duvet or tents left. Or, all right, can I carry on? That's another good thing about having the, the stoves. It's basically held off the ground, so it doesn't leave any fire scar or anything. And the good thing about the Pomley one, it's just it's so lightweight. So you get and the, <coughs> excuse me, and they, they, they do a lot of different ones. I think they're just bringing out a wee, a wee kind of smaller one. It's even more lightweight. But that's me, I've got the, I've got the, the Pomelie Hex, I've got the Pomelie, I think it's the Hot Tent Shelter, I think it's called. Very similar to the, oh, what's it called? The, not the Backwoods Bungalow, it's the one Tigris one. The Outback Retreat. More or less kind of same design, but I think the, the Pomelie, the, the one Tigris stuff's a lot more lightweight, but I don't think it's as, as good a quality. So still, still alright, but I, I, I can't tell why I do like the I like the Pomer stuff. But I do I do like the one tiger stuff as well. So my I've got the backwoods mongolo and I've got the smoky hut. And they're both good tents as well. But at the end of the day I, I, uh, before I got the Pomer TP I it was the one tiger smoky hut. And it is very, very lightweight but I, I took that to Glencoe in the snow at the start of the year. It was ideal. Again, it's a hot tent, so. And if you've not got a hot tent, you need to get yourself a hot tent. You don't, I'll be honest, you don't really need one in the, the summer. But see, in the winter, well, oh, they're going to come into their own. Especially in the snow. See, if it's minus 10 outside, and you're sitting inside, toasty warm. Just, you just can't beat that. Cannot beat that. But, uh, like I say, off the morrow, so just thought I'd come up, a sweet camp. Come up into the hills, the great outdoors. So I think everybody else uh, for the, the, the kind of group camp, had, I think the half of them are still recovering. But hopefully, You've watched those videos. I did too. Hopefully, they don't get any worse. Because I'm sure they're not going to get any worse. As you can tell, they're probably a bit for, for wear on them. But I blame the Jura whiskey from that. I can't tell I'm not a whiskey drinker. To be honest, I don't really drink beer either. You know me. I like a wine. 
We shout out for Tam Sprint. She kindly uh, dropped me off about her 19 times when I was up in uh, Glen Orkey. Comments on my channel all the time, just peered out nowhere. Bounced down with, don't know if it was your wife, Tam, or your girlfriend, or what they come down and chat that way to us. The next thing he jumped up to his car and he brought me down about her 19 times. Isn't, isn't that good? What a time for folk like that. And then the two other boys. That's terrible, I can't mind your names. But just comment below. If you're watching this, comment below. Big shout out to you as well. Hope you're still getting out there. I know you were saying uh, that I inspired you to, to go out and start doing it. That's what it's all about, isn't it? Inspiring folk to get out into the great outdoors. Instead of sitting in the house. Watching the same old rubbish on the telly. And I think it's not until you do that. Well, it's not for everybody, but I think a lot of folk, once they do it once, they do it a couple of times, you, you, you get the, you almost get a, what would you say, you get the bug for it. Well, I, I know I've got it. I just, I think I could actually live in a tent. I could, I could actually live outside constantly. And I know I've got a few tents now, but it's good to have a wee, Wee selection. Uh, well, Chris is a kind of mountain tent, I've got a hot tent, even hammocks as well. Hammocks are another good thing. I'll take that out now and again as well. I was actually thinking maybe I was going to go on just a wee woodland camp because it was such a nice night, I thought I'd come up the hills. But I do like a hammock camp as well. Uh, and I think I've got about three hammocks. But I'm approaching 3,000 subscribers, which I never thought in a million years would happen. But it has. And that's only, I don't know, just over a year. So I must be doing something right. Well, I think I am. But I'll just keep plodding away at it. You'll still get the odd. You always get the haters, don't you? Get the folk that don't, they don't like it or like to leave a wee snidey comment but why were you? Didn't bother me. It's all interaction with your channel so why worry. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna have some more brew and I'm gonna eat some more uh, chocolate digesters and stop dribbling away just talking talk rubbish. So I'll maybe bring you back in a wee minute. Right, I dunno, that's a bit Night. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to crash out. Might do a tiny wee bit of filming in the morning, but that's probably going to be about that. I've got some, I've got some, a couple of good photos of the night, so I'll stick them on at the end. Got a couple of nice kind of star shots and that. But we solo the night, so we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Oh. Morning. Right, let's see what kind of day it is. Hey, looks nice enough. Right, let's go up. All packed up. As ever, we've no trace. So, we burn marks on the ground. That's where the tent was. That's where the stove was there. Brilliant. Now that I'm packed up, that's me, I'm going to head off down the road. So, as ever, thanks for watching. Uh, if you've not subscribed, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the wee bell for future notifications. But it's been another good one, just a wee, wee solo overnighter, up the local hills. But, we'll catch you in the next one. See you.